The shonen genre has been a centerpiece of the anime industry ever since Mang realized that fighting was awesome and that watching two people beat the crap out of each other was really fun. With Dragon Ball Z kicking off the basic formula that would be used in most shonen for years to come, including that of the big three. You were left to question, what could you really do differently? Well, one man had an answer. TURN IT INTO STOP CORE PORN! Fairy Tale, to be quite blunt, one of the worst theories I have ever read in any industry. Not just anime, not just manga, not just shonen, I am talking about TV, comics, movies. It is one of the worst theories I have ever seen. I am not going to sit around here and tell you that innovation is something that is typically praised in the shonen genre, because it isn't. It's more about different writers taking similar formulas and using them in different creative ways. Naruto had ninjas, One Piece had pirates, Bleach had death gods, My Hero Academia has heroes and villains. But at the end of the day, they're all still a story about a young child becoming more and more powerful as he progressively fight stronger foes. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all know what we're getting into when we sit down to watch a long-running shonen. It all comes down to the execution and what the author is willing to do to make his story interesting. Fairy Tale is an amazing example of poor execution. I can't think of any writer that is more terrible at executing scenarios than Hiro Makima. The main characters win because they're the main characters. Urza literally winning a fight because She's Urza. No, 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 seriously, the character, they, they, they actually say that. The female character will be stripped of their clothes during a battle, completely destroying any sense of tension or sense of danger. All for the sake of fan service that people are at this point quite sick of. The character gets stronger for no inconceivable reason, becoming more and more powerful as the situation demands it just so they can save their friends. Characters that you would thought had been killed off come back to life because Hiro Mashima doesn't want to kill anybody. In all honesty, Hiro Mashima is worse than Reki Kawahara, who refuses to kill off any of the white foods, because guess what? Hiro Mashima refuses to kill anybody whatsoever. In SAO, it's safe to say that all the white foods are safe, but everybody else besides Kirito should be fair game. At least to some extent, at least you can worry about them. In Fairy Tale, you can't worry about any of the characters because you know none of them will ever die. Overall, Fairy Tale is a really, really bad show. And that brings us to the topic of this video Eden Zero. Hiromashima's new manga, the first chapter, should be premiering June 27th. The first thing we need to ask ourselves is why did this new main character look like a love child between Nasu and Grey? Because that sounds horrible. Because not through the horrible main character, let's be honest, screw not to. Apparently the title Eden Zero is only a placeholder title, but I want to actually talk about the actual problem going into this. I stated it earlier and I'll state it again, but Hiro Mashima just isn't a good writer. He's really good at building up mysteries, but besides for that, the payoff for everything in his series is just not good. Nothing pays off, and almost nothing is well executed, rarely having what I would call good chapter. Now that begs the question, why did Fairy Tale do so well during its run? What was different about it from everybody else? Why was it able to somewhat compete with the big three? Well, to be completely blunt, it's basically softcore porn. Hiro Mashima is very, very good at drawing the female body, and he likes to put them in positions where they are basically completely naked. It was very common to find people around the end that read Fairy Tale on a weekly basis, even though they hated it just to see the girls in it, because the girls in it are really what people call hot. Now, I'm personally too busy looking at them and reminding myself that I hate them because they're horrible characters and terribly written and had never done anything to significant that actually mattered long term because nothing that happened in fairy tale mattered because no one ever died, but that's just me. Because the tendency to hook you with a decent premise and get you invested, and then slowly but surely starts to kill you and kill your interest, and torture you with poorly executed plot lines and bad characters and stupid speeches and knock them a power up. But you don't normally notice how bad it is until you're really deep into this long running show 
and it's almost like a disease because you're so deep in, there's nothing you can really do about it at that point. Honestly, if I was Hiro Mashima, I would just go and draw porn. I feel like he'd be really good at it. Like, women are really attractive. I will be honest. If female characters are attractive, go right, go right and draw porn. You're good at it, man. Stop trying to do things you suck at, like write an interesting story. A majority of the people who read your stuff read it because the girls are attractive, not because they like your story. But yeah, in all honesty, I'm definitely not going to be reading Hiromashima's new manga or any of his work. Really, I just don't really care, unless there's a ton of controversy around it, then maybe I'll check it out. But overall, no, it just, it's Hiro Mashima. Probably gonna suck and be a waste of time. Like fairy tale, wasted years of my life. But guys, hoping you enjoyed the video. I know this was something a little bit different. This was more just me giving my thoughts on something a little bit different. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a like. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And all else, guys, have a great day. You can also follow me on Twitter, which is linked in the description box down below.